I was 15 years old. I was a ballroom dancer. I was dancing for 14 and a half years. Like I was dancing since I was basically coming out of the womb. That was kind of my life, was ballroom dance. I was like always the girl who everyone knew as like happy and smiley and like people looked up to me at a very young age and I was aware of that, which made it harder for me when I struggled because people did look up to me and they saw that I was someone they wanted to be like, but inside I knew I wasn't. I wasn't someone that I wanted anyone to be like. Because of ballroom dance, because of the world that I was in, a size zero was too big. I was a size four. I had big bones. I was healthy, I had muscle. And when I, I came to high school, I had the coach of that team come to me and say, you know what, you're too big. We don't, we don't want you on our team, we'll put you on the team below it. You have the skill, but we don't want to make another costume. And then I had my personal and private coach tell me that no boy would want to be my partner because I was built like a boy. And I was a size four. On my first lesson, I was able to do a join up. Basically, you run the horse in circles, and then when you feel the time is right, you drop your whip and you turn your back. And my instructor told me that the horse I was working with, she was kind of a spitfire. So I dropped my whip and I turned my back and I just was like so annoyed. Like, this is so stupid. I don't want to be doing this. This isn't, like, a horse isn't going to tell me that it's ready to join up. It's ready to work with me. Right when I was about to give up, I felt Aruba's whole front of her face just pressed up against my back. And I just cried because it, she showed me that I'm here, I trust you, and you're loved and you're seen. It gave me that feeling of love again and hope. Just because this happened, it doesn't mean that I'm unworthy. It can make me stronger if I allow it to. Um, and that's really when everything changed. I would tell the 15-year-old Brooke, I would tell her that she's, she's worth it. I would tell her that she's worth it and she's got it. That she's beautiful and she's loved. That she'll become the person that she's always wanted to be and that she will change the world. This is my family. Bridal of Hope is my home, a place that, that I can feel safe. I'm powerful and I'm strong and, and I'm a woman who is worth any man. And that's something I wouldn't have been able to come to on my own.